Hi everyone, I just wanted to hop on here and share quite a cool story with you. I've got quite a few kind of spooky, spiritual, psychic stories um, and I just really wanted to share this one uh, because I found this hair clip in my things again today and uh, not many people know the story about how I actually got this, this little hair clip here. Quite a big hair clip actually to be fair. It's, uh, one of those with teeth that you used to uh, to put your hair up in a bun or you know it holds it all quite nicely if you've got long hair because it's quite big um, but it's actually got a really cool story behind it um, and I got this in Australia when I was traveling back in 2006 so I just want to tell you that little story today so I actually spent three months in Australia um, from December 2005 to March, just beginning of March 2006. Um, and on my last day in Australia, I was flying out of Sydney, um, going via China back to London. And um, the night before I stayed in Wake Up Sydney, which is a really nice hostel in the middle of Sydney. It's very, very nice if you've ever been there, very classy. Um, and because I with my, was with my partner at the time, we had a private room which is very nice, um, very sort of simple modular kind of type furniture. Um, but I have this thing where I've never been a huge fan of spiders. I mean, yeah, Australia, not the obvious place to go if you don't really like spiders, but you know, you, you kind of deal with it. Um, but I've never been a huge fan. They, they kind of freak me out a bit, especially the bigger ones. Um, and I kind of did all right in Australia. Your, your beastie tolerance kind of goes up a few notches when you're out there. Um, but I have this thing called spidey sense, or my friends call it that, because if I go in a room and I sense there's a spider in there, I will know. And I will say, there's a spider in here. And there usually is quite a large spider if I sense it. Not so much with the small ones, they don't bother me, but if there's a big one, or more than one big one, chances are I'm going to sense it. And I will normally say so. My senses start tingling and I, I just know it's there. Um, so we went into our room when we arrived at Wake Up Sydney. Really nice, gorgeous hostel. It's more like a five-star hotel in some ways. It's very nice. We went in our room and I immediately said to the person I was with, there's a spider in here. And he knew what I'm like, you know, he knew my abilities. And, and although I was still quite early on in my psychic journey and developing those abilities, you know, he trusted them. He'd, he'd learned to trust them. Um, so we searched the room. We turned it upside down. We looked everywhere. We looked under the bed. We moved all the furniture. We could not find a spider anywhere. Um, so I thought, well, OK, maybe I was wrong on this occasion or, or maybe it's just next door and I just sensed it through the wall or something. But, you know, we went about our our, uh, our evening, uh, went to bed, woke up in the morning. And you know how it is when you wake up and you're kind of a bit bleary eyed and you're looking up at the ceiling and the ceilings are quite high in there because it's quite I think it must be quite an old building. The ceilings are really high with a big picture rail around the top. And sure enough, walking around the picture net, picture rail, there's a funnel web spider. <laughs> Now, if you haven't seen a funnel web spider before, they're quite frightening to look at. They're kind of chunky and black and they don't look very friendly, but it was far enough away from me because the ceiling was so high. Um, I didn't feel too scared and it was walking along the picture rail quite happily, quite a small one. I don't think they, I don't know how big they get, but it was reasonably small one. So I woke up the person I was with. I was like, wake up, wake up. I found the spider. There it is. And uh, he looked at it and went, oh, it's a funnel web. Because um, he lived in Australia for two years. So he, you know, he had a bit more experience with spiders than I did. And um, we very quickly got dressed, got ready, showered. You know, we made sure our suitcases were zipped up the whole time so nothing could get in there. And that was just something we did when we were traveling around. Um, after we went to the showers, you know, we got all dressed and, you know, getting ready to leave. And we went back in the room and we couldn't find the spider. It disappeared. Now, I don't know where it had come from. I don't know where it had gone to. Um, but I looked down at the table. Um, my suitcase was next to the table and I looked down at the table and this hair clip was clipped onto the leg of one of the legs of the table, one of the metal legs. And I swear it wasn't there before because um, we searched that room you know we were looking for a spider I would have found a giant hair clip if it was attached to the leg of the table I swear I would have found it but the spider was gone but there was this very arachnid looking look at that tell me look up uh, you know if you don't know what one looks like look up what a funnel web spider looks like they're I think unique to um, that region of Australia um, this particular type and tell me that doesn't look like a its legs. Tell me that doesn't look like a funnel web spider's leg. It freaks me out a bit just looking at it now. Sometimes I look at it and go, Whoa! you know, it sets off my arachnophobia a little bit. But it was very odd. The spider was gone and this lovely painted hair clip had, had taken its place. 
and I thought okay I'm having that that's a nice hair clip but it felt very much like a little thank you and goodbye gift from this funnel web spider in Australia now it was just a really cool thing that happened to me on my last day because we were literally about to go to the airport um, there and then to, to leave the country and I haven't been back since which is a real shame I would like to go again at some point I haven't finished visiting yet um, but yeah just a, a really cool story about how funnel web spider disappeared and appeared to leave me a very arachnid looking hair clip as a going away present so there we go Who's to say? Did the spider turn into the hair clip or did it just magic it up and leave it there for me? Who's to say? Um, just a, a, a cool little uh, spooky story because that hair clip was not there and no one else went in the room. There's, it, it just appeared seemingly out of nowhere. So if you've got any spooky stories, please leave me a comment below. I would love to hear about your experiences, especially ones with spiders as we're on that theme today. Um, and please, of course, leave me a like and I would absolutely love it if you subscribe to the channel. And I'll be back soon with more spooky stories and more predictions. See you soon.